Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. Um, so this is your reading for Saturday. And um, don't forget, I have a lot of June specials going on that are really good. If you're interested in booking a private reading, my cell is in the bio. You can text me. I am scheduling for next week. Also, I have a giveaway, a reading giveaway on YouTube under Tasha's Divine Guidance. Um, so you have to subscribe, like, and comment on the videos to be entered for that drawing for the free reading. Um, this will be a full length reading, so go to YouTube when I'm done and you can hover there and watch it. Uh, the first card I got is the Tower in Reverse. So this is you guys coming out of this complete and utter devastation from your past. Um, you felt like your whole entire life was falling apart, but now you have found the strength within you to build your own foundation. And that's bringing in this stable offer. This is the King of Pentacles, grounded, stable, mature, someone that will be loyal, loving, and giving that won't betray or deceive you. This is a soul union. This person will be very passionate for you. Um, like I said, mature, grounded, financially secure, and very passionate. This person will express their feelings to you. This will bring a victory in your life where in the past, there was no happiness, no joy, no victory, only devastation. But you guys have amazing things coming. This is a slow moving energy. Now this can be someone you know or this can be someone you manifested that's coming in. Also, you're able to finally see with clarity people that are, do not have your best interest in mind. This is you um, walking away from deceptive energy. This is you figuring out uh, people that aren't in alignment with you, okay? You have the sun in the very first row. Complete happiness is in your near future, guys. This is the Queen of Wands, you standing in your own power, following your own passions, not looking over your shoulder, not worrying about anyone else, but worrying about you. Not caring if anyone is in alignment with you or if anyone judges you. You don't care anymore. Um, you have this offer that's coming in. This is a stable offer. This can be financial opportunities. This can be an offer in love. This is a stable offer that's coming in. The wheel is turning in your favor. But of course, you guys, this always comes up. So we gotta talk about it. Coming in quick, this past person that's been in the victim role, this person that caused you so much pain, they're still surrounded by drama and conflict. The divine is saying, have strength. We will give you balance. You need to stand in your own integrity. Use discernment because this person is still holding on to you, but they're dark, toxic energy. They see you as a wish fulfillment. They know you're the high priestess. They know you know them better than anyone. The divine is saying, use your judgment. Use your discernment. You know what this person has to offer you. Words mean nothing, guys. It's actions. They will come forward and try and communicate and say that they want a new beginning, but it needs to end, guys. This person has nothing to offer you but sorrow, manipulation, pain, control, deception. When you release that, you have financial security. You have, your healing will finally be complete and you have a wish fulfillment. That's what you have coming when you release that devil energy, that dark energy that doesn't know anything about truth or integrity, okay? Let's see what else we've got for you guys. So you guys have this passionate new beginning, but it's going to make you feel kind of trapped in your head because we don't trust and I get it. But like I've said before, if you're standing in your empress energy, whether you're a man or a woman, you're setting boundaries, you love yourself, you know your worth, you can be vulnerable and you will be able to see the red flags and you won't tolerate anyone being in union with you that doesn't deserve you. It's not at your level. So make sure you have positive thoughts. Make sure that you are manifesting a future partner, a future life that you desire because your thoughts are manifestations. And yes, you're going to have to reflect a little bit because it's going to throw you off. But you have been manifesting it. This is divine love. You have manifested this love. But like I said, you have to be in your empress energy. Totally confident and in love with you. Going after your own desires and trusting your intuition, okay? This does lead to marriage. Once again, you are the queen of cups, loving, nurturing, very empathetic. Listen to your intuition. You will know if this is the person for you.
this is you. Finally turn your back on the past. You know it doesn't serve you anymore. You're not gonna think about it. You're not gonna dwell on it. You're gonna release it. This is you walking away from this horrible stabation, this horrible suffering that this person put you through. You finally saying, you know what? Me thinking about it, me reliving it in my mind is only torturing myself. This is you saying, I'm done. I'm taking control of my life now. And I'm gonna do whatever it is that I dreamt or desired that I wanted to do. And I'm gonna go full force toward it. And this brings in a new beginning, a brand new cycle for you. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, this, this past person has such an energetic hold of you guys because it was a karmic soulmate. You spent many lives with this person. And because you're so loving and giving, you can't fathom why this person would hurt you the way they did. They're a player. They don't have the capacity for divine love. They don't. All they know is wand energy. How can they use their wand to manipulate other people? This person is very imbalanced. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, they are so imbalanced. They feel like a fool for what they did. They're in hermit mode. Not our problem, guys. That's their lesson to learn in this lifetime. That's not our problem. You deserve happiness, okay? All they can think about is the third party situation they put you in. Now they're trapped in their head at a crossroads, confused. They, the divine is making sure they are reliving every moment, every choice, every word, and they can't move forward. They're stuck in hell, emotionally. That's what I get, they're stuck in hell their karma. Look at this. You are the Nine of Pentacles, lady of luxury. It could be a man or a woman. You being proud of yourself, having the strength of a fierce lion after all this person put you through, you came out smelling like a rose. You're financially secure. You're happy and you're proud of yourself because you got out of that hole that that person put you in by yourself. This narcissist, they did all this damage. They're so heavy in regret. They lost the best thing they ever had. Their Ten of Cups, their complete happiness. They won't know that ever again, guys. Not ever. Mm. They know you're a soulmate. The divine made sure of it. They want to come forward and tell you they love you. They miss you. They've changed. They're sorry. They watch you. At the end of the day, this is a deceiver that will deceive you over and over again, will manipulate and betray. If you fall for this person's words, you will be stuck back in that toxic cycle of unworthiness, feeling unloved, feeling not good enough. Place that energy on someone that deserves it. And number one, it's you. Yeah, this person's heartbroken, filled with anxiety, can't sleep at night because the divine is making sure that their every thought is of what they did. They love you. They love you. And they're defensive because they know they threw away love. Divine love, a soulmate. They lost this happy family unit. They destroyed the family unit. All this person did was take away your power. Your ability to stand in your own truth and your own integrity. This person was an energy vampire. You are the queen of pentacles. Grounded, stable, and secure all on your end. You have done the healing work. The divine is stepping in and making sure that truth and clarity comes forth to you and to everyone. Justice is being served in this situation. This person will receive justice. Everyone will know that this person is a liar. Oh, I just said it. And look, guys, this is you turning your back on this person. And this is God bringing in justice. I just said it. And yes, here it is, justice. This person is receiving justice. This is you focusing all your energy, your time uh, towards your passions, your creative endeavors. And this is building financial security for you. This is you finding peace and happiness in your life, no longer reliving those moments of torment, but 
deciding you're taking control over your life. You're taking control over the happiness that you deserve, that you can give yourself. This past person that was cold, unfeeling, unemotional, they're heavily burdened because they made you feel like an option. They left you out in the cold. They refused your love because they had other options and they thought they could do better. The grass wasn't greener, guys. The grass wasn't greener and they know it. They're filled with lies and deception. They think that they can continue to lie about what they did and people will believe them. But don't worry, they're gonna be exposed. All they do is sit and reminisce about you, about the union that you had and what they destroyed. They're gonna come forward and tell you they know you're, you are their soulmate, that they wanna put in the effort. They're still a player. They just see you glowing up. They see you being in your empress energy and they, they don't want you to succeed. They'll do anything to come back in and manipulate and wreak havoc and destroy your life. This person is very jealous and very dark. They didn't give to you equally. If they come in with an apology or truth, it will be half-assed truth. I'm sorry, but it will be. This person does not know divine love. They don't know how to give emotion and they, in this lifetime, will be stuck. Unfulfilled, unloved, used, manipulated, all the things that they did to you. flying everywhere. Okay, so this is a little bit of advice from the divine. Okay, so this is the king of swords. Intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic, receiving wise advice, remain objective and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships are being emotionally unavailable. This is the past person. This is the king of swords, right? This is the person that cannot emotionally invest because they only use an analytical mind. They're cold, they're unfeeling. The divine is saying, if you need help, ask for help from others. If you need to talk to someone, if you need counseling, whatever it is you need to get over this cold, unfeeling, unemotional person, you need to do it. It, it shouldn't be continuing to hold you back in life anymore. This is working too hard or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, juggling multiple priorities, balancing the budget, this two of pentacles. So this is you submerging yourself into busy work so that you don't feel it anymore. You gotta stop that. You know, ignoring the pain doesn't heal the pain. You have to face it. You have to process it, cry if you have to, and then release it. You can't work yourself to death so that you don't feel it because it's still there, it doesn't go away. They said it's up to you at the end of the day. The longer you don't address it, the longer you're gonna feel that burden. Okay, guys? Working too hard or too many hours, the need for balance and life. Let others help you, health problems due to stress. Once again, it goes right along with the Two of Pentacles. You submerging yourself in an activity or creation that is Occupying your mind to the point where you don't have to think about it. And they're saying, yes, you have to face it. You have to address it. You have to heal from it. You have to move on. You deserve happiness. And look at the bottom of the deck, guys. When you do this, look, I love this. This is the Nine of Pentacles, the lady or man of luxury. Enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to luxurious life. Buying yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed, enjoying solitude, and your health will improve. When you face this pain head on and you heal, and you find self-worth, when you find value in you, when you find love inside of you, and you set those boundaries because you know what you're worth, this is what you have. That's what's happening. And that's amazing, guys. I love you. I hope you have a happy Saturday. And um, like I said, you can text me if you are interested in a private reading. Um, I am scheduling for next week. So let me know. I'll forward the information on the June specials. And I will be doing my first giveaway mid-month. I'm going to try and do it twice a month and see how it goes. Um, but you have to subscribe, like, and comment to my YouTube channel in order for it to, uh, to be eligible. And the way I'm going to do it is every name will be placed on an index card. 
I will cleanse the cards, pray over the cards, and I will ask um, the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints to choose the winner. So that's how I'll be choosing the winner. It won't be me. It'll be the angels and saints. So uh, don't worry. You will have a future chance if you don't win, but you can't win if you don't subscribe, like, and comment. Okay, guys, have a great day.